And breathe, Jesse. Congratulations, survival secured and victory. Just sum that up for us. Hot day, um, not easy for either team, uh, but you know we we got the lead, which was really important. I thought um, the start of the match was really good, and then um, you know when we were up two men, we were we still didn't want to leave it up to fate. And so we were trying to push for the winner to make sure that we could secure our fate the way we wanted to. And again, so so four games I've been here and this group has found a way to dig deep in injury time and find winners, find find uh, goals that get us draws. So the character of the group is clear um, and it's a privilege to work with these guys. I think you said to us pre-match, it wasn't until half time you were going to start paying a bit more attention to what was going on elsewhere at Turf Moor. At that point, you were safe by a point. So what did that half time talk look like? <coughs> um, we talked about how to play in the heat, how to manage the game, how to stay focused for every moment. Um, and, and weird, right when, right when we go up a man that we give up a, a goal to, to make the game tight. but. But we said we'd try to update them on the on the score, but also that our focus on on us was the most important thing. And you know, it, it, on hot days like this, it's hard for the guys to concentrate and, and be totally connected for 90, 90 minutes. But in the end, again, the 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 goal is is typical our group. It's typical. They 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 never stop believing, and they're uh, a big compliment to to our mentality. So many twists and turns in that second half. Some lows, perhaps, when you can see then the ultimate high when Jack Harrison got the winner. Is that up there, possibly, with the most stressful 90 minutes you've had in your managerial career so far? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't easy to manage, and I was just trying to think about ways tactically to help the group to make sure that the guys that we brought on were going to be ready. And, and to be fair, you know, we, again, we got good performances. You know, it's just trying to put it all together for us hasn't always looked perfect. So. The stress has been high for 12 games, for three months. I've tried to stay calm. I've tried to, try to keep the group focused on what we think matters, um, and that's us. And again, you see again the quality of the, of, the, of the mentality and character. With the adversity that you have faced over the last few months, just how excited are you by the prospect now of a clean sheet with these, with these players? Yeah, I mean, that, you know, there's so much that's been said about Marcelo Bielsa versus me. And then there's things that are said that, you know, counted us out. And what are the tactics? And what is this? And I get it. This is a high, this is high level stuff, you know, and, and fans pay a lot of attention all over the world. Um, it's not a perfect representation of what I want this team to be. But, but in the situation, I think um, we came together really well. And after the first two games, if, if to say we only lost to the three Giants and, and even some, and they scored three goals, or they each scored a goal in the first action down the pitch or first shot, I, I still feel strongly about the group we have. I feel strongly about the football we can play. I know we need to get better. I know we need to add some good pieces. And, but I, I love this group. I love the team and I love their commitment and I love their spirit. I suppose finally, the only downside at this stage right now is that you haven't got to share this moment with a packed out Ellen Road. I'm sure you'd have loved to. Yeah, we were with our fans enough, you know, and and what I'll say is like, I appreciate the fans saying my name, but that's not important to me. Like the group is the most important thing. We are Leeds United. We're not me. We're not uh, Calvin Phillips. We're not Le Liam Cooper. We are Leeds United. And that's what we will always be as long as I'm here. So um, I love our fans and they come and they support. but. I don't care if they say my name. I, that's not, that doesn't matter to me. What matters is that they know that we are a total group, that we are always committed to each other, and we show it every time we step on the pitch.